I want to highlight for a moment what Home Minister Amit Shah also said when he made this quite political. He said that the reason that the Aam Aadmi Party has such a big problem with this current legislation, with this current bill, is that you want control of vigilance to ensure that, you know, no details of the Chief Minister's bungalow expenses really emerge. What's your response to that, Raghav? Well, Aam Aadmi Party is not uh, made up of the stuff that it will get uh, scared or will, will, be, will, will be trembling with fear because of some threats that have been issued to us by the BJP, including by the Home Minister. They can let loose any agency on us. We have nothing to hide. We will still put up a big fight against you and defeat you in the electoral battles. Point number one. Point number two, these people are scared of Arvind Kejriwal. Today, the Home Minister uh, let the cat out of the bag. He said that I am bringing this law because uh, from 2015, situation in Delhi changed and as a result, we had to take away all these powers from the elected government. What happened in 2015? India's highest ever electoral mandate was given to a man called Arvind Kejriwal. And, and therefore, ever since 2015, BJP has lost successive assembly elections in Delhi. They have realized that they can never form a government in Delhi and their, their political future in Delhi is very bleak. As a result, they have decided that let's abandon the government, make the government administratively important, Let's snatch all the powers from the government. And therefore, once there is no power in the government, there will be no elections or there will be no uh, effective elections in the city. And as a result, BJP will not be uh, put to face a humiliating defeat uh, every election after election uh, at mm -hmm. the hands of Mr. Kejriwal. That is what he said in the sum and substance of his statements. Sure. He even said that previous to 2015, everything was okay. But in 2015, something changed. It is in 2015 because Mr. Kejriwal came into office I have to say this in no uncertain term that mm. it is the Kejriwal phobia. It is the Kejriwal phobia on the basis of which and due to which BJP is bringing this bill. They are afraid of Arvind Kejriwal because they know that Arvind Kejriwal uh, is, is uh, for the, until the time he's in Delhi and he's contesting elections in Delhi, BJP has no future in Delhi. So let's abandon the government. Okay, but what's happening in Parliament right now, Raghav, is realistically speaking, you don't seem to have the numbers. The BJD, the YSRCP, even the TDP, the so-called fence-sitters seem to all be siding with the BJP and the NDA here. So have you already lost the fight in Parliament? Look, uh, <coughs> Lok Sabha, the government has the numbers. In the Rajya Sabha, sure. it's a closely fought battle. Let's see uh, how the voting happens in the Rajya Sabha. How many people are present, how many are voting, who votes for which uh, uh, you know, motion, who votes for the motion, who votes against the motion. These are things we'll see once the bill is put to vote in Rajya Sabha. I wouldn't want to second guess uh, the outcome. But yes, there are some political parties like the BJD and the YSRCP that have decided to support the government on this unconstitutional bill. I am pretty sure they have not done this out of choice. I am given to understand they have done this out of compulsion. And therefore, I recited a couplet to explain their situation, which is... What kind of compulsion? Uh, well, I don't know what compulsion it is for them to answer. It is for the people to, uh, you know, uh, ponder upon what kind of compulsion. I can only say, "Kuch to majboriyan rahi hongi, yun hi koi bevafan hi hota." Ji chata hai, bahut sach kahun kya karu, hausla nahi hota. I am pretty sure they are subject to some compulsion and majboriyan. As a result, they have chosen. However, however, as far as defeating this bill is concerned, as far as challenging this law is concerned, we are going to challenge it legislatively by trying to oppose it in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha and we will fight it out judicially in the Supreme Court when the Constitution bench uh, is set up again to look into this matter. There have been two Constitution benches that have heard the Delhi government's matter, one in mm. 2018 and one in 2023. Both ruled in favor of the elected government and said that the elected government has all the powers. It's the chief minister that has uh, all the transfer posting powers of the secretaries and the officers not the central government, not the lieutenant governor. So we won two rounds in Supreme Court. Now we'll, we are gearing up for the round three, and I'm pretty sure since the constitution remains the same, we will win round three as well. And let's see if the parliament round goes your way as well. Raghav Chadap, thank you very much for taking the time out and joining us here on India Today. So you heard the Aam Aadmi Party's perspective there. They're making it very clear that they're going to be fighting this out tooth and nail, whether it's in parliament or in the courts.